Traces of Bacterial Growth with Scientist Cindy. How do we analyze bacterial growth? It is convenient to create a graph of the number of bacterial cells in our cell culture versus time. This type of graph is called a growth curve. Here is just an example of one possible growth curve. Keep in mind that the time in which all of these phases will be experienced will vary depending upon the amount of available space and available nutrition, as well as the species of the bacteria we are using. All bacteria growth curves grown in cell culture in the laboratory exhibit the same four following phases. The lag phase, the log phase or exponential phase, the stationary phase, and the death phase. The lag phase of the growth curve occurs when we have no active growth, so the population of cells remains the same, or constant, during the lag phase. This is because the bacteria are adjusting to the new environment and thus will not undergo binary fission until they have adapted to their new habitat. Once they have adapted, we will experience the exponential phase or log phase of our growth curve. This growth is seen because there is plenty of nutrients and plenty of space for growth to occur. This exponential growth or logarithmic growth will eventually level off. This leveling off is due to the population of bacteria beginning to run out of space and available nutrients. Also, the cells will experience a continued buildup of toxins. Due to these factors, the log or exponential phase will give way to the stationary phase. In the stationary phase, we see that there is no real change in the number of bacteria in the cell culture. This is because in the stationary phase, the number of bacteria cells in our cell culture remains fairly constant due to the fact that the number of cells being created will roughly be equal to the number of cells dying in our cell culture. After some time, the depletion of nutrients and dwindling amount of free space along with the buildup of toxins in our cell culture will cause more cells to be dying than are being produced. This gives us the death phase of our bacterial growth curve. After some time in these conditions, you will eventually see that all of the cells in the cell culture will die. Thank you for watching.